Nada. Hello, my name's Mark Sable. Welcome to our Term 2 Secondary News Update. I'm the Head of School for Secondary at Meriden State College. Um, in this episode, we'd like to just celebrate and share some key events and also an update on some of our improvement agendas and achievements. And don't forget, you can find all of these principal reports um, on our YouTube channel. Firstly, I would like to um, welcome our new executive principal, Tony Roberts. Tony's uh, uh, been living in the area for quite a while. He's also got a long history across Queensland and further afield. He's been the principal at Karamundi State School, principal at Spin Effects in Mount Isa, um, and most recently he's spent a significant amount of time as an assistant regional director here on the Sunshine Coast, working with schools across our region. He's also worked for the department in the Northern Territory, and we look forward to working with Tony um, as the year progresses. Term one was a very solid start. Um, particular note there, we've got the highest result we've achieved in four years for both English and science in years seven to 10, when we talk about the number of students achieving an A to C and an A to B. And we've also in those subjects got the smallest gap that we've had for any students receiving support. We've got a new support model that's, um, uh, uh, I guess continue to evolve from last year. That's in line with the state's vision for inclusion, where all the supporting resources and adjustments are made in the students' classrooms and not going um, to separate um, classes and additional um, programs. So that's um, starting to really, um, I guess, get some traction and is pro with some great results. Um, and we look forward to, I guess, refining um, that model as the year goes ahead. We've also um, had then had our report cards go home to, ref uh, to report back on our Term 1 achievements um, for students. And they should have been received via email. You can contact our front office if you have not received those or wish another copy. Don't forget students can always access all of their report cards through the One School platform um, as the link is shown on the screen. Um, thank you to all the parents who came and participated online in our parent-teacher interviews on Tuesday the 9th of May. And we will now be sending out a survey to get some feedback on how you found that, or even to parents who did not participate, uh, perhaps why and what we can do to, I guess, encourage more people to participate and even reflect on the format, the online format for face-to-face -face, um, as we move forward. Um, and we'll have another round of those in Term 3, Week 3. Um, the message, the key message, I guess, for all our students um, f as we now go um, into the tail end of the semester is be organised and aim high. Everybody should be having a focus on their key areas for improvement, be that in your study program um, or habits or perhaps particular subjects and have a goal for refinement, maybe even within a subject on certain types of tasks or criteria. Um, Please also make sure that we're getting those drafts and checkpoint work done as we move through. It's um, always been a challenge in high school to be organised and not do things at the last minute, but it's particularly important these days um, as we seek to build folios of student evidence that, we, that contribute to the summative results. And also for us to um, really gauge how students are progressing into halfway through the term stage, formative assessment, to make sure we are tweaking and supporting as mu much as we can to get the best result at the end. It's also used in authenticating students' work. Um, we have, this has become obviously increasingly challenging in this digital environment, um, and lots of students have been caught out because um, obviously without that lead up evidence, um, as you progress to your end task, um, the end task can sometimes not be substantiated as your own. Um, finally, don't forget as we hit this flu season and there's lots of illness about to notify our absence line of any illnesses, particularly when they're on exams or assessment due dates, um, because they also may need to work in conjunction with special considerations um, in ARAs and please talk to your year level HOD or deputies if you are worried about that. This week we've had our year 10 work experience um, and they can't wait to hear the reports back next term. Thank you to all the local communities, um, business holders for hosting our students um, and for the students for finding their own placements. Um, our staff have been out this week and um, the reports um, so far, as you can see by some of these images, um, have been fabulous and students really do enjoy this time and it helps clarify um, their pathway decisions moving into year 11. Over the last few weeks we've had lots of extracurricular activities going on, including our dance at Steadford here in Caloundra, um, where we've had probably our highest number of teams competing and some very, very strong results, including both primary and secondary. Um, so big thank you to the students for particularly their kindness and their teamwork and their energy and, and the way they, I guess, uh, moved around and uh, 
re interacted with people at the at the venue and at the event. Um, it was we got lots of positive feedback. Not let alone those great results you can see in the screen there. There are over 35 schools. There were 22 in the event. I was um, lucky enough to see where we finished fifth. Um, so strong results and well done to the team all round. We've also had lots across country this term, both at the school and district levels. Um, and um, students participated at the Big Pineapple in Nambour on the 11th of May uh, on a very challenging course. And um, several are now going on to Nooseville to compete in the regional trials. And we wish them all the best. One of the highlights for both staff and students so far this term was a couple of Wednesdays ago we invited all the secondary students to come and watch our senior boys basketball game against Mountain Creek. Unfortunately not the re result we were quite hoping for but certainly in terms of our PERMA approach to building staff and student well-being where we're feeling a sense of belonging and pride um, it, it was very well uh, received and we got some great feedback. Students really loved it. Um, and we're hoping to embed that in our program, perhaps doing one such event per term. And we're looking forward to a rematch. Um, also, we've had Headspace presentations as part of that wellbeing program um, in years seven, eight, nine, 11, and 12. Um, there'll be another round for those students in those year levels that haven't had their presentations yet in um, the end of July. Um, those different presentations are aligned to their needs in, the, um, in year levels and we thank Headspace um, for providing the, the resourcing and the, um, the presenters for that program. And we also had a parent evening on the 9th of May, and thank you to those um, parents that attended and participated on that night. Coming up, firstly, we have Sorry Day next Friday, um, which is, of course, a, 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 a recognition um, and acknowledgement of the mistreatment of our um, First Nations people who were forcibly removed from their families and communities. Um, or the more commonly known as the stolen generation. There'll be different activities going on in different year levels and one of them include making um, these purple hibiscus flowers um, that we will put up around the college to just have that, I guess, recognition of the day. That's then followed up by Reconciliation Week, the week after, um, which um, has an, a range of activities, particularly for First Nations students. And um, we are excited um, to be partnering with the um, council to reinvigorate our Bush Tucker Garden, and we'll be having a planning day, a planting day rather, for that, um, and we'll also be hosting a number of other activities throughout the week. Um, our Year Six to Seven transition program will now start to really ramp up for um, those students coming from primary into secondary next year. And just noting that on Tuesday, the 20th of June, will be our first transition day um, for those year sixes, and it'll be followed by um, a parent information evening on the 8th of August. And that transition guide you'll see um, on the screen, you see on the screen will be sent to those parents um, prior to that transition day. Um, and there's already now a lot of academies and extension programs open um, for year uh, six is coming into year seven next year, available on our Facebook page and on our website, and contact our admin team if you want more information about those. So thank you very, very much for joining us. I hope you and your family are traveling well at this midpoint of term two, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you, bye-bye.